Hey everyone, this is Jason from EskimoTV.net. Today I'm going to be going over my Houston Film Critics Society 2022 nominations ballot. For Best Picture, I thought Fableman's, The Whale, Barbarian, RRR, The Menu, The Inspection, Good Luck, Leo Grand, Black Glass Onion, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, and Gilmo Del Toro's Pinocchio were deserving of Best Picture. For Best Director, I went with Fableman's, Elvis, RRR, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, and Avatar. For Best Actor, I went with Brendan Fraser from The Well, Austin Butler from Elvis, uh, Jeremy Pope from Inspection, Ralph Fiennes from <laughs> The Menu, and uh, Mr. LaBelle, who played uh, Spielberg in The Fableman's. Best Actress, I went with Kate Blanchett in Tar. I went with uh, John Williams, or I'm sorry, Michelle Williams in The Fablemans. Uh, John Williams does the score. Uh, Michelle Williams in The Fablemans. Uh, Michelle Yeoh in Everything Everywhere All at Once. Emma Thompson in Good Luck to You, Leo Grand. And Florence Pugh in The Wonder. Best Actor Supporting Role, I went with Brendan Gleeson in Banshees of Any Sheeran. Uh, Quan from Everything Everywhere All at Once, uh, Paul Dano from The Fablemans, uh, Jeremy Strong from Armageddon Time, and uh, Mr. Redmayne from The Good Nurse. In the Best Actress Supporting Role category, I decided to pick Everything Everywhere All at Once, Miss Jamie Lee Curtis, I think that she's super deserving of this role, uh, Anne Hathaway from Armageddon Time, Angela Bassett in Black Panther, uh, Miss Condon in Banshees of Any Sharon, and uh, Miss Chow in The Whale. Moving on to screenplay, I went with Fableman's The Whale, The Menu, Glass Onion, and RRR. For best animated feature, I uh, went with Pinocchio, Gilmo del Toro, uh, Puss in Boots, Marcel, The Shell with Shoes On, Turning Red, and Lightyear. For cinematography, I went with Top Gun, Avatar, The Fablemans, Elvis, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. I did not get to see as many documentaries and foreign language films, so once uh, I get the short list from our group, I'll be just kind of watching and voting for those. But these are some of the ones I did get to see, the Selena Gomez documentary, mm -hmm. the Tinder Swindler, White Hot, the Abercrombie and Fitch documentary, the rise and fall of Abercrombie and Fitch, as well as a Hillsong documentary. Uh, for best foreign language feature film, I'm really rooting right now for RRR. Um, and we have to have three, so two other foreign films that I got to saw this, see this year were Close and Piggy. Once again, I didn't get to see as many as I would have liked, so I'll probably be watching more um, as our group um, decides on uh, the best of this year. For score, I went with uh, Women Talking, RRR, Fablemans, uh, Gilmo Del Toro's Pinocchio, and then that jazzy score in Babylon. As much as I didn't really care for that film, that score was pretty uh, snazzy. Uh, for song, I went with the uh, Chao Papa and uh, Gilmo Del Toro's Pinocchio, My Mind and Me from the Selena Gomez documentary, Lift Me Up from Black Panther, Hold My Hand from Top Gun, and uh, Natu, Natu, however you pronounce that, from RRR. For visual effects, I went with Avatar, Top Gun, Black Panther, RRR, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. For Best Stunt Coordination Team, I went with RRR, The Woman King, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Batman, and Top Gun. For Ensemble Cast, I went with The Fablemans, Women Talking, Banshees of Vinnie Sheeran, Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, and the menu. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and submit my ballot for 2023. And there you have it, folks. That was uh, my votes for the Houston Film Critics Society this year. Let me know what you thought about my picks. Did you, um, what did you think about these year, about this year's uh, performances, films? Would love to know your comments. Uh, below. Thank you all so much for checking this video out. Until next time, my name is Jason Escamilla from EskimoTV.net.